2020 is here, and with the new year comes a brand new decade. I meant to film this video before the new year crossed over, but then I was having so many problems with recordings, but we finally figured it out today. Me and Justin figured it out. Now the videos will work! I don't know what was happening, but anyway, today we are going to look through some great memes of the past decade. What will this decade bring? What kind of memes will arise? We will find out, I guess, in due time. But let's look at the past 10 years. What was that? The top 10 memes of the decade. Blinking white guy. Who is that guy? Drew Scanlon's immortal reaction gif is nothing for short of a meme masterpiece. Over the past five years, the internet and users have gone through many transformations and Scanlon's face has been there for us. When someone makes a horrible tweet, when the news defies rationality, or when a memer has bizarrely specific take on a new meme. The blinking white guy gif is the gif of the decade. That is true. First guy finally wake up, must have been like. Harambe, RIP. I went to the Cincinnati Zoo two years ago, I guess it was. And they had a statue for Mar Harambe and it was, it was great. I may or may not have shed a tear. Harambe is the forced meme of the decade, willed into existence by collective irony and nihilism. The popularity of the infamous, uh, the infamously executed gorilla stemmed from the national coverage of a child that fell into the ape's pen at the Brownsville, Brownsville Zoo. That's not true. That happened in the Cincinnati Zoo. In the Cincinnati Zoo. He wasn't in, you, you. Idiot know your meme. I can't trust you at all. Hide the pain Harold. Oh, this one. I haven't seen this guy in a bit. What a dude. I think I've used him for a thumbnail before. Peak year 2014. Stock. It is a stock photograph. There you go. Hungarian senior model. Andras Aravato. Probably fucking butchered that. Oh, Ricardo. Hello. How are you? What a guy. What a guy. Peak year 2018. Where does one start with Ricardo Milos? The insanely popular, scantily clad mover and shaker that somehow completely managed to sidestep mainstream mean coverage. What a guy. Oh, what a guy. God. These are the classic here. Peak year 2012. I remember when trolling was huge on YouTube, but just like trolling in Call of Duty or in... Gary's Mod or whatever. These MS Paint style web comics were some of the most popular memes on the entire web. Starting in 2008, the first Rage comics were born on 4chan's. Yeah, of course it was 4chan. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Oh my God. Look at that. That's, that's the last supper of the classic memes. Never seen anything quite like that. That is fantastic. Oh, loss. You know you're a person of the internet if you know loss when you see it. God, it's great. I made a loss, a loss reference the other day. Who was I with? I can't remember, but I made a loss reference and they didn't understand it. And it was so good. So much wasted potential. Press F to pay respects. There you go, peak year 2014. The internet has a funny way of turning silly moments into enduring slang. In this decade, we saw a rise of the milkshake duck and bra moment, but perhaps no silly slang has become surprisingly well spread as press F to pay respects. Moment born of goofy Call of Duty Advanced Warfare prompt. Is that where that came from? I, d I guess I never thought about the origin of press F to pay respects. It was just always a, a thing. I don't even remember it coming into my life. I just remember it was there. One day it wasn't and one day it wasn't. It was. Oh, Robbie Rotten, 2017. This one's sad. There's a video of him, I think, playing ukulele, like basically on his deathbed. He was the meme from We Are Number One, number one from Lazy Town. What a guy, what a guy, what a sweet man. He, he passed away from cancer. It's very sad. What a guy. Pepe the Frog! Can't talk about Pepe anymore because apparently he's a, a symbol of white nationalism. So whoops, Pe Pepe, sorry. You were a good meme for a bit, but the, the racists, the white supremacists, they claimed you. So can't use you anymore. Sorry, sorry, bud. You're uh, yeah, that's the face that I make when I realize that they stole Pepe because he's a hate symbol now, I guess. Doge, throwing it back. This is number one, peak year 2013. Look at that, look at that face. All right, let's see what other websites have. Does Reddit have a old memes? Let's just look through them for a second. I know that I did a video of old memes. I'm surprised that one does not simply is not on there. That was an iconic meme. The meme template was the spiral background on like iFunny or whatever the fuck it was. The 100 greatest internet memes of all time. This was posted on June 7th, 2012. Stuff white people be like, oh, for sure. 
Oh my god! I remember him, the Dos Equis man. I haven't seen a Dos Equis ad in such a long time. I'm not always late for work, but when I am, I make up for it by leaving early. <laughs> planking, huge. Planking was huge. I did planking. Everyone planked. Scary maze pranks? Oh my god. Do children know about scary maze? Or like the car commercials? This classic one from 2009? Do people remember this? God! I'm about to get so many people right now. Probably gonna get myself because I don't remember when it happens. <laughs> I don't remember. What was that even from? Remember this from your childhood? I do. I for sure do. That and Scary Maze game? Oh, will it blend? Do people remember? So many of these photos have like been claimed. But do you guys remember Will It Blend? That channel is just a dude putting things in a blender. That was the whole channel. Just Will It Blend? Yes? No? Maybe? Oh, the flying spaghetti monster. Pastafarians. That's right. That's right, people thought that this was a real religion for a little bit. It's not, right? It's not a real, it's a fake thing that people made up. I mean, that can kind of be so about everything in some cases. 2050 is far away, it's 1990. <sighs> uh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. I'm 23, I'm only 23, I'm still young. I'm still young. I'm still young. I've still got time before people start calling me a boomer. I've got so much time. I've got at least seven years. You cannot call someone a boomer if they're under 30. It's it's not allowed. Dad orders pizza at 11.58 on New Year's Eve. Pizza to... <laughs> Guys, sorry sir, this pizza was ordered last decade. Do you still want it? <laughs> Huzzah, man of quality. That is such a fucking dad joke. I don't want to see it. Cats, imagine being this piece of shit. This post was made by cats who, give us, who gave us an incredible decade gang. Oh, these grumpy cat we got. I don't even know what this cat is called. The fucking salad cat. Nine cat. The little drum cat. Sad cat. I don't even know the names of these fucking cats, but they're all great. I've seen cats three times. Why? I don't fucking know, guys. Feet guys, boob guys, ass guys, personality guys. Oh, five guys. Get out of here, five guys. I don't like you. You cook all your stuff in peanut oil. It's always uh, like the question is like, are you a tits or an ass man? And then someone's like, oh, I like eyes. I like personality. That wasn't the question. The question was, tits or ass? There are two options. God, get out of here with the person now. I big nelly. Shut up. It's like saying, oh, do you like hot dogs or hamburgers? I like pizza. What? That wasn't an option. It's a multiple choice question. If you have a question that's like four plus four in it, A, eight, B, Ten! You can only choose two of them. You can't write in your own answer. That's not how it works. May the tears I cried in 2019 lube the cheeks I clap in 2020. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna be a top in 2020. <laughs> Fuck. 2020 is a new decade. 2021 starts the new decade. A decade is any 10 year period regardless of the current calendar year. That's true. You need 2005 to 2015. That's decade. Look at me. I'm the 20s now. <laughs> You're fine. You still can't get laid. Twice the power double ball. I'm just looking at memes now. Oh, these are just all new memes. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh, World War III. Hope I don't get drafted. I hope the draft doesn't fucking run back. I hope I don't get drafted. I have a peanut allergy. I can't be drafted. Place members in remote locations with limited food and healthcare options for this reason. A history of systemic all allergic reaction to food or food additives is disqualifying. Medical condition for individuals. Seeking to join the building. Yes! Individual excluded. Wait. Ooh. Wait. Army definition is broader, referring to a reliable history of moderate to severe reaction to common foods, spices, or food additives. Whereas the Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps definitions make specific references to a history of anaphylaxis. I have a history of anaphylaxis. Now there are two perks to having a peanut allergy. I can pre-board flights and I can't be drafted in the war. Every three minutes, a food allergy reaction sends someone to the hospital. Okay, I'm, this is like what my mom did when I was in middle school. Just really trying to uh, get awareness out there. Like, yeah, food allergy is serious, but it's not like, uh, this is like, every three minutes, someone gets attacked by the sh by sharks. Don't go in the water. Just, just, just be careful about it. Wash your hands with soapy water. I love how they, they specify soapy water because who washes their hands not with, like, people know that washing your hands is with soap. Stop an adult for help if your friend feels sick. Anyway, I'm gonna end this here. Those were the memes of the decade. Let me know what your favorite meme of the decade was. I was a meme in 2019. I could be your meme of the decade. Ha <laughs> ha, wink, 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 wink. There's black on black soft boy hoodies right now. They were supposed to be released during Black Friday, but they didn't get released, uh, but they're up now. If you want a black on black soft boy hoodie, there's gonna be more stuff. A 
bunch of new stuff coming real soon. So keep those peepers peeled. Anyway, thank you so much for being here throughout the decade. I forgot to mention in my like end of year roundup video that this decade, I mean, I haven't been alive very long, um, only two decades, uh, but this decade, everything happened. You know, thank you. That was so vague. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. What is that, my crazy proof?